Today we're going to demonstrate how to use the Gilson HMA611 Unconfined Compression Data Acquisition Software that automatically records and graphs load and displacement measurements used to calculate the unconfined compressive strength of cohesive soils. The Gilson HMA611 Unconfined Compression Data Acquisition Software is an intuitive, easy-to-use Windows-based software. Real-time data is shown in tabular format and in a graphical display of either strain or displacement. At the conclusion of the test, this data is used to perform calculations in accordance with ASDM test specifications. And test results can be printed in a customizable PDF and easily exported into spreadsheet applications such as Excel. Before we start, let's review the menu options. At the top of the program's window, we have File, Utilities, and Help. Click on File and we can begin a new test. Open a previous test. Save an existing test. Save an open test as a copy or in a different location. Create a PDF of a test report. Preview a test report before it's printed. Print a test report. Exit the program and export test data to a Geosystem software. Click on Utilities and we can enter the test settings. Click on Settings and a new menu opens. Here we can enter the readout box channel assignment, enter the test equipment used, enable or disable the pop-up keyboard feature for testing while using a tablet, indicate whether we want to report in metric or imperial units, and enter the testing agency information. Click on Help to find assistance with this program, contact information, or to activate your software. And of course, as with most software programs, there is more than one way to execute a program command. Here at the top, you will also see file command icons. Now that we have reviewed the menu bar, let's demonstrate how to perform a new unconfined compressive strength test of cohesive soils using the Gilson HMA611 Unconfined Compression Data Acquisition Software. It is recommended that the computer be disconnected from the internet to avoid automatic Windows updates during testing. Make sure that all connections to the computer and data readout box are secure. Now, prepare your sample in accordance with ASDM D2166. Click on File and New to begin the process. Now click on Utilities and Settings. Enter the read box channel assignment. The equipment used for the test. Enable or disable the pop-up keyboard feature for testing while using a tablet. Indicate whether we want to report in metric or imperial units. And finally, complete the testing agency information section which will be printed on the test report. If you're using an on-screen keyboard, like the one found on a tablet, be sure to enable pop-up keyboard keypad function. For this demonstration, we are using a standard desktop keyboard, so we will leave this box unchecked. Click Save and Close. Next, select the COM port for the data readout box from the Read Port drop-down menu in the Connect to the Readout Box tile. Once connected, the travel values will be displayed at the bottom right of the tile. Gently move the LVDT on the load frame up and down to confirm the connection. Please note, for this demonstration we are going to use the software's practice feature. The practice feature allows the user to familiarize him or herself with the software. When this is active, random load, displacement, and strain values are generated so that you can interact with the software as if a test is being performed. From the Sample Info File Location window at the top right, enter the sample information including project information, sample type, and client ID. This information will be included in the final test report. Once entered, click Set File to designate a file location for the test data. 
Next, set the recording frequency for the test under the Run Test tile. The software will automatically record every 5 seconds unless specified otherwise. The Auto Stop function can also be selected to stop recording data when the force drops below peak load by a specific number of pounds or at a specified percent strain. Now, place the sample in the load frame and seat the cross arm. Once seated, click Start Test, then select Up on the load frame to start the Platen Advance. The software will continue to collect data until travel has reached 0.5 inches or until Stop Test is selected. At this time, you can stop the load frame, otherwise it will travel until the upper limit has been reached. Test results are automatically saved to the assigned file location. The Gilson HMA611 Unconfined Compression Data Acquisition software allows the test file to be reopened at any point after the completion of the test, and the user can add a fail image to the report. Now you can preview, print, or export your test data. For any questions about the Gilson HMA611 Unconfined Compression Data Acquisition software, or for any Gilson product, please contact your Gilson technical support team.